Hello and welcome to The Fix. On our previous video, we repaired the ABS sensor on this BMW and I also mentioned it had another fault, which was the remote control. You cannot unlock the doors or lock the doors. It's not working, as you could see. But with the button inside to lock and unlock the doors, it's working. So that means the central locking system is working. There's something wrong with the transmission of this remote. So first of all, I'm going to check if this remote is okay or not. Over here, I've got my remote frequency tester. If we switch it on like that, and if I press this button, see it's emitting, that means this remote control is working. Yeah, and it's coming up on the 866 megahertz frequency. You can see there. Before, it used to be only one frequency in the UK, which was 434 megahertz, and America, it is 300 to 320 megahertz, usually 315, right? And that's the infrared checker of the infrared remotes. So now that we've established that this is emitting, the next check is gonna be car itself. We're gonna to have to check the antenna. Now that we've checked the remote control and it's working fine, we've got to look into the car. Diversity antenna amplifier, that's what we got to check now. It's a little module, well, I say little, about that big. I think it's behind the spoiler here. So we're going to have to undo the spoiler, which is I'm going to have to take off, I think, these plugs here. That's one. Yep, that's got torque screws in there. That one. And that's got actually a nut in that one, so. And this is the third one, yep, with your torque screw. So I'll start off by doing them. That one's undone. And then that's a 10 mil nut on it. And the last torque screw. Seems to be a bit stuck. I'll have to have a look, maybe it's got more screws behind here. So if we just pull that out like that. Clips off like that. Let's see. bit tricky taking this spoiler out but I think we've got to push it up like that and then maybe push it down yeah I think it's push it that's it. It's come off, yeah. If you could see, it actually slides into these bits. Okay. Now, I'll put this there because we've got the ribbon here for the brake light. And um, there's the diversity antenna. If you could see, these bits look rusty. So there might be water inside this diversity antenna amplifier so we'll just look into that now I'm going to take these torques out now take 
take the cover off there and that reveals the diversity antenna which is this unit here this module here so if I carefully take off this ribbon get that ribbon's out now this one okay that's that now we've got to undo them two bolts go I'm going to unplug this uh, brake light which is on the spoiler so we could take the spoiler right off that's it that's off now now if I do that now we've got the spoiler right off so we could put it away now I'm going to unplug this I think this is the coax for one of the antennas I'll I think we've got to put a screwdriver on that. Okay, and this one is undone like so. You take the safety clip off. So and then you press that in there. seems to be stuck so if I just put that in there and lift it that's it so I lifted that clip up that's disconnected now it's two seven mil nuts that actually hold the diversity antenna amplifier in out another plug to undo on this side now we've got the diversity antenna out that's it there right now I'm gonna undo these tabs here and have a look inside here for any water ingress corrosion or anything Okay, that's out now, and from looking at it like this, there doesn't seem to be any water ingress or corrosion or anything. But it's that's what normally happens to them. You get water ingress and it corrodes it and then shorts it out. But in this one, I can't see any corrosion at the moment, so I'm going to have to do some more tests. I'm going to plug this board back in because we're going to do some voltage checks so if I put that back in over there we're going to have to put the nuts back in because that if you could see that ring there that actually uh, earths the circuit board so we have to put the nuts back on do it more tight like that and then also I'm going to plug that in Earring in and plug this in for now just to do a few tests. Yeah, so if I check the first wire, which is 12 volts, which is right, the second wire is 5 volts, which is right also, and then it's got a space, and then the fourth wire it's not reading no voltage at all, and then the fourth wire is 12 volts so that's all right but what my concern is the fourth wire there which is the red and the blue stripe it's got no voltage on it so that means there's a fault in the circuit board because it should have five volts on it so now we're going to get a replacement board plug it in and then check it after that I managed to get hold of another uh, diversity antenna amplifier this one 
but this one's actually from an E70, which is an X5 BMW, but it's the same part number, so this should work on this. So I'm gonna reinstall it in here. Remember, put it like that. And tighten up the two seven mil nuts. that back in and then this plug back in and we're gonna plug this back in okay that's all been plugged back in now for the moment of truth got the remote control here let's see if it works Yep, I heard something there. There we go, that's unlocked. And that's locked. Let's have a look. See the door? If I unlock it, that's unlocking. Lock and locking. So now our fault has been cured. It was the di diversity antenna amplifier, this unit, that was faulty. A lot of the time, most of the times, it is the actual wiring here that's damaged, is cut off inside. But in this case, it was the diversity antenna aerial. Uh, just to prove the point, I'm gonna do another test on it now. I'm gonna test the wiring again. If I just earth it there on the nut, that's the right. The first wire there, which we had 12 volts on, which is there, 11.86, but that's, you know, battery voltage at the moment. The second wire, we had 5 volts on, which is there, 4.85, that's nearly 5 volts. And then, earlier on I told you, the fourth wire, which is not really the fourth wire, it's the third wire, but it's in the fourth pin of the plug. That's why I thought it was the fourth wire, because this has actually got four wires. So, the third wire, but it's in the fourth pin, now it's got 5 volts on it. It's got the voltage. What, this wire didn't have the voltage, that was the fault. Right, and then the last wire was 12 volts and it is 12 volts here as well. So this, that's concluded our test that this unit was faulty. Now we've got all the voltages there as they should be and it's all working. Now we're just gonna put all the covers and the spoiler back on. So first of all, with the spoiler, we've got to plug this in back over here. I'm gonna plug this in over here. That's in like that. And then this plug goes in here. And you've got this little grommet. The grommet fixing there. That's all done now. So now we have to get this cover on. Now on this cover, it's got it's got like see that little uh, slotted kind of plastic bit that goes where the ribbon goes so basically this is put in like that and that ribbon goes around the slot there and then we've got to tighten up the torque screws That's all done now. Now there's a certain way this spoiler goes on, which I will show you. If you look under here, see these lugs here? It's got a slot in it. That bit of the spoiler slots into there. But before we put that on, I've got to connect up. This is the, the wiper sprayers. So you just got to plug that back in to there. That's plugged in. Now I'm gonna slot this into there. So we pull it back like that. And I think, no, that one hasn't, that one's slotted in. 
and that one slotted in. You can see it's not coming out. And then you push that bit down. And open. And underneath there, this 10 mil nut goes on. Making sure that that's in line. That's tightened up. The two torque screws, one of them goes in here. That's it. And one of them goes in here. Now we've just got to make sure that that spoiler is in its right place, otherwise it, it'll catch when you're opening it. It's catching a little bit, so I've just got to adjust it forward like that a little bit. And from there, it's okay. okay. That's it, that's in the right position now, so just give it the final nip. So it'll stay there. That's it, that's done. And then put your rubber plugs back in here. One there. And one there now. Now everything's been put back together. This car, that it had two faults. One of the faults was the ABS, which I've done on my previous video, which I'll leave the link for. And the second fault was the central locking wasn't working with the remote control. So if you've enjoyed this video, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and also click the bell icon so you could get all my future videos. Thank you.